Hello everyone, this is Tim, and this is kind of a belated unboxing that uh, SR2 Joker had sent to me a while back. I just haven't been feeling good, just unmotivated and so forth. I'm sure some of you are the same way. Uh, but with spring coming, I feel like I got some more energy, so I'm going to show some of the stuff that he, he sent me. He sent me uh, worm skin numbers, because I put in order here. Uh, number one, two, and three. And um, these are cool. I've seen these being talked about over on Google Plus, and Andrew pretty much knows uh, what kind of stuff I'm into. So, uh, very cool. This is the premiere issue here. Uh, Dolman Wood is the setting it kind of goes through. There's mushrooms, moss dwarves, grimalkin, and root things, which is a monster type. But yeah, this is definitely for more for like old school kind of stuff. A little bit of pen work there. Got the hex stuff. <laughs> yeah, just different things in here. Just figured I'd, I'd go through and show you some of the some of the pictures. Look at that guy. That's the moss dwarf armor. And NPCs. There's fungi. Who doesn't like mushrooms and and fungus? <laughs> uh, you hear my hear my daughter in the background there. Who's this guy? This is the Grimalkin. It's kind of cute. You see him there? Probably out of focus. Um, a Wilder? That's a prim let's see here. A primal Fae form of the Grimalkin. There's spell lists, Grimalkin spells, uh, Monsters of the Wood. And I just love these old school kind of black and white illustrations. But yeah, I, 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 also these zines are kind of cool. This actually has a pretty nice cover to it. Most zines aren't uh, bound in that kind of like, I think it's almost like perfect binding kind of cover. But this is episode, episode, <laughs> this is number two. Um, this is uh, Tavern Fair Generator, Psychedelic Compounds, and Lankshorn. And I like that they kind of just go through and give you little things for the setting. It's kind of weird. And from what I understand, it's like low magic. Lots of tables here. What are all these actually? These are the psychedelic compounds. So you got Azoth, uh, the substance is transparent crystals, and procedure for use cast into a raging fire. And they have effects. Uh, and you can kind of just mix and match these as you wish, which is nice. The high wood. And I was thinking a lot about my own settings and how maybe putting out something like this for them would be, be cool. Something that's not too complex. I'm not very good with layout. So, just something simple. You know, some, some old school art. Maybe some art from public domain. They have different NPCs in here that they're going into. The church. Monsters of the High Wold. I always like that word. Probably because I'm a Tolkien fan. The Barrow Bogey, which is a plague fairy and a pothead. <laughs> that's cool. The Bog Zombie. Goatman, Shorthorn. Now, I think the Goatmen have a pretty big, significant impact in the setting of uh, Dolmenwood. A witch Owl. Okay, and uh, probably go through these last ones here real quick. Uh, worm Skin number three. Again, sorry for my daughter. That's part of the reason I don't film as much as I should. Of men, goats, fairies, and dolmenwood, languages, summer stones, and the witching ring, the wood easts, or the woods east of Lake Longmere, the ruined abbey, and monsters of the wood. This one seems like it's uh, seems like they may might have learned a little bit from the last two ones, and it seems a little bit more nicer. Uh, I like the layout, uh, how bold everything is. That little dancing guy. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. Wow. Oh, I got some color in here, which is nice. Yeah, definitely a little bit nicer than the first two. Let's see what other ones they have. We'll check this out. Look at that spread there. The Ruined Abbey. Nice map there. Kind of see it sideways, actually. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, ooh, look at that guy. Wow, 
Wow, that reminds me of the Swords and Wizardry cover, just the colors of it. The Ghostly Monk Generator. And like a lot of old school stuff, there's things that you can pick out of here and use to your heart's content. Wow, look at that. Almost looks like a swarm of like creepy birds. The Moggle Womp. <laughs> I love the names of some of these. The Scrake. But yeah, that's all the worm skin stuff. Uh, some of the other things that Andrew sent me was a copy of the zombie hack that's from uh, Bloat Games. And uh, it basically just uses like old school rules. I'm just going to go through here and flip a little bit. I'll show you stuff. Let's see, is it focus on this thing good? I like the layout. Uh, very bold, black and white. It's easy to kind of notice everything. A lot of his books have the same sort of format and they're easy to read, look at, different character classes. I backed uh, Eric's uh, Dark Places and Demigorgons, which I probably saw a video of. You probably saw on my on the channel. But the art's very vivid. Kind of what you expect in a zombie sort of game. But very small little book. Um, gets the job done. And if you want some zombie survival, there you go. And this is the one that I was very excited to get. I wasn't able to get it to my uh, friendly local game store for free RPG day uh, this year. But I've gone every year since. This is from Lamentations of the Flame Princess, uh, Slugs, it's basically just like a bestiary, bestiary, always pronounce that wrong, but the cover is great, especially for a free product, and I think this thing goes for a lot uh, now, that people can't, you know, just go get it, but you can also get it for free, as with most Lamentations stuff, it's just gorgeous, even their free products are just amazing, Acid Slug, Breakfast Slug, some of these are kind of silly, Dr. Slug, <laughs> Glass slug, hypno slug. Look at that thing. Now I like that they kind of have this like look of uh, like a coloring book almost. The love slug, <laughs> uh, uh, mentalis slug. Look at the brains on that guy. Muscle slug, ocular slug. Kind of looks like a beholder. Rock slug. It's a jam out. A sluggish slug. <laughs> Slugatron. <laughs> yeah, definitely kind of silly. This guy is just badass. The spider slug? That just sounds gross. Swiss Army slug? The vomit slug? I mean, who wouldn't use that as a GM? <laughs> and it just has some information on limitations and, you know, lots of disturbing art as is limitation style. Big fan of stuff from James Raggi the fourth. But yeah, that was all the stuff that uh, Andrew sent me. So thank you, SR2 Joker, and I'll talk to you guys later.